There is growing concern over monkeypox in San Francisco. Tonight, advocates and community members sounded off, urging more action to prevent the virus from spreading. Our monkeypox hotline now receives one to two calls per minute from community who have questions or believe they may have been exposed and are desperately seeking access to vaccine. San Francisco is calling on the federal government to dramatically scale up its distribution of monkeypox vaccines. Good evening, I'm Julie Hayner. And I'm Alex Savage. Tonight, hundreds of people tuned in to hear about the virus and the city's efforts to vaccinate those at risk. New at 10, KTV's Jana Katsuyama joins us now live. And Jana, another vaccine clinic was held today and supplies ran out fast. They did, Alex. Some people waited hours today at one walk-in clinic at SF General to get the vaccine only to find out the supply had run out. And at tonight's virtual town hall, officials tried to answer some of the 200 questions that came pouring in. For a second day, hundreds of people lined up outside SF General Hospital, hoping to get a dose of the monkeypox vaccine. Frustration growing with the length of the wait. It's not great that you have to like trek across the city for a chance to get it without knowing if you'll be able to get the appointment. Some people arrived hours before the doors opened at 4 p.m. Today was my day off, so this is my only opportunity to really kind of fit it in. So I'm so happy I was able to get it in. But within two hours, those waiting were told the supplies had run out. It's especially frustrating because we've been through so much with COVID. It seems like the infrastructure to be able to deploy a vaccine, give people information, have people schedule appointments. seems like that's a, a skill that the city and the many of these institutions should have developed. And it's a little weird that we're not deploying that right now for this. Supplies of this Genios vaccine are extremely limited. At a virtual town hall meeting Tuesday night organized by the San Francisco AIDS Foundation, more than 500 people logged in to get the facts about monkeypox, including symptoms. Fatigue, um, kind of body aches, flu-like symptoms, so, you know, maybe feeling like you're going to start developing a cold. So that's essentially what starts kind of at the beginning. Health officials told people to check carefully for the characteristic rash and said the lesions can range in size. So it's a rash that kind of starts off as typically kind of reddened, like just kind of rashy red area, red patch on your skin, but quickly, quickly evolves and develops into um, very similar to like a blister. They also explained that monkeypox is transmitted mostly through close body contact, less likely from the air or fabrics. And they answered questions about testing. Do I need to have symptoms? Do I need to have lesions in order to be tested? Right now, yes, the tests that we have available work on trying to, to amplify the materials that are in, in lesions. So that, that is it necessary. San Francisco officials say there is a shortage of vaccines with thousands of people on waiting lists. Health officials are giving priority to those with known exposure. During Pride, uh, multiple events have uh, blasted out messages about potential exposure. That's also um, qualifying somebody as eligible for the vaccine. At a news conference earlier in the day, officials called on the federal and state governments to take action to increase vaccine supplies. We are asking the state for 35,000 vaccines today for us to be able to get vaccines into arms. The San Francisco AIDS Foundation says they have been promised 500 doses for a vaccination event on Sunday, but all of those so slots have already been filled with thousands more people who are on the wait list. So, Janet, the city of San Francisco asking for thousands more doses of the vaccine. Is it clear that the supply is there? Well, right now, the federal government is saying that it could take up until next year to get several million doses out, but they are working to try and get the supplies uh, increased and get them out. But basically, they send it to the states, then it's up to the state to do the distribution. All right, yeah, hopefully more vaccine doses are coming soon. Jana Katsuyama, live for us tonight. Thank you.